Skyder Inotech was very kind and sent me this hard drive enclosure. It is the Inotech FE2007, which is USB 3.0, 2.5 inch form factor portable hard drive enclosure, and three port USB 3.0 hub as well. You can see the three ports right here, right now. Also on the right hand side, there's a power indicator, and on the left, um, the hard drive indicator and here you can switch the hard drive power on and off and in case you need extra power you connect the 5 uh, volt cable <coughs> into it too and to connect it um, in the package you get this USB data cable here on the uh, here on the right and on the left in case you need any more power you, you you'll be able to connect this into additional USB port but I've already tested it, so you are able to connect a hard drive using just a data cable. But in case, for example, you use a power, um, if you use any additional of these free uh, USB ports, you may need more power. So that's why this cable. That's what this cable is for. Also, as you can see here, you get this small sponge which you can attach inside. As instruction manual says, they could be, you know different thicknesses hard drives so in order to avoid you know for hard drive to go to the left to right up and down that's what this thing is for you basically op open this thing and attach it inside so yeah that's all what you get uh, obviously you do not get the hard drive with the package and after the you can just open it yeah it's as simple as that so to, uh, what next? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect it to my computer. I'm going to do some um, speed tests. I'm going to use the um, uh, Samsung SSD drive. That's the Samsung uh, 830 series, a 64 gigabyte capacity drive. So I'm going to connect that and uh, do some speed test. So. There we go, it's as simple as that. But I can tell you, you will need uh, two hands to close it down, so... You won't be able to do it with your one single hand. So... There we go. So yeah. There it is. You, you won't even notice there is a hard drive inside it. Without a hard drive, it actually weighs only 81 gram, which is less than a typical smartphone. So there we have it. Next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it and I'm going to do a speed test. I've got it connected to my laptop, uh, HP Pavilion 1 2015. got it connected to my laptop because my desktop is quite old to do any sufficient um, tests um, I was able to squeeze out 160 megabytes per second that's as fast as my motherboard can go through the PCI Express and USB 3.0 port so I've chosen to use the laptop that I've just got which is HP Pavilion and it's been released this year 2015 and I already tested it and I've got so much better speed so if you if you consider using this thing with your older desktops you'll be able to squeeze out as much as your machine can actually deliver to you but anyway let's do the good old AS SSD benchmark well you can't actually probably see it but I'm gonna launch it. So let's just run it. And it's uh, the G. That's the one. And let's start a test. It's a 64 gigabyte edition SSD drive, so you won't get the fast write speed, but you will get. A reasonably fast and uh, read speed, so 389. In the previous test, I was able actually to squeeze out 400 out of it. So it's 
So anyway, I'm going to show you the final results in a few seconds. Here is the final result as you can see. Read speed 389, write 116. And the final score 291. So, that's on the HP laptop through the USB 3.0 port. On, the, on my desktop computer I was able to achieve the maximum read speed of 160 megabytes per second but that's due to the limitations of PCI Express X1 port over there. Basically I can confirm you can squeeze quite the high speeds with this small device right here. And obviously you can connect uh, up to three USB devices uh, should be backwards compatible as well as far as I know so here we go it's now connected and you can use the USB pen as well actually for a while I might do a quick uh, test on it I just quickly restart wonder whether it's gonna work Obviously, it will not be as fast as the SSD drive. There's no chance for it. But let's just do for a while. It's Kingston DT Ultimate. Pretty good write speed, I have to say. And the read speed of 180. So that's the USB pen I'm testing at the moment, the Kingston one, and not the actual SSD drive. Pretty good speeds, I have to say. 100, uh, just about 185 megabytes per second read, and 81 megabytes per second uh, write speed, but uh, 4K performance is 4K performance, as you can see here. I'm going to show you final result, or maybe not. No, I don't want to wait one hour, so... But yeah, just to give you some idea, I've said I've tested the USB pen too, so I just abort it. Anyway, reasonably good product. As you can see here, you can connect SSD drive in it, you can plug SSD drive in it, uh, or your standard 2.5 inch laptop drive, and connect it through this data cable to USB 3.0 port, or any slower ports. And you can also connect up to three USB devices as well and take advantage of speeds up to 5 gigabits per second. And if you need more power, you get this um, power cable which you can plug in into 5 volt DC port right here and connect it to additional USB port. So that's the way it works. Here it is, that was a brief look at Inotec FE2007, USB 3.0, 2.5 inch portable hard drive enclosure and USB 3.0 hub too. Have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm um, going to keep this device for uh, quite some time. And um, if I know, I'll be, I'll be able to answer you, I'll be happy to do that. So, here it is.